Hey everyone, it's John Velasco with PhoneArena.com. We just got in our HTC Droid Incredible 2 review unit. We're just going to do a quick unboxing, show you a little bit more about the device and also uh, the packaging contents. As far as the uh, box goes, it's pretty much similar to, the, uh, pr to its predecessor from last year. You have the Droid branding on top there, so it's distinguishable. Metallic looking uh, design to it. There's nothing that much on the sides, just except for the package contents. Some more images of the handset. That's pretty much it. So let's uh, dive right in and take a look what's in, under inside the uh, box. So we have the uh, Droid Incredible 2, which is basically the Incredible S overseas, uh, just because uh, we already reviewed that unit and this is just basically an identical model uh, for Verizon. We've got the battery here, which I believe it's a 1450 milliamp hour battery. And on top of that, you have your usual set of accessories. You have the uh, micro USB cable for data and charging, and you combine that with the uh, wall charger here. Put in your USB cord right there, and you'll be able to charge it. And you have all your usual set of documentation, and important consumer information, some more stuff, mastering your device. Global support guide because the Incredible 2 is actually a global handset, so you could use it overseas and some more information, product and safety warranty information. So that's pretty much it. Kind of light, not really anything spectacular with uh, the accessories included in there. So let's uh, put in the battery to talk more about briefly about the uh, Incredible 2, Droid Incredible 2. Removing the back cover is easy to snap it off. You notice the SIM card slot there because you could use it overseas. Put in the battery right there. You have also a preloaded 16 gigabyte micro SD card in there, so it should be more than sufficient for most people. That design looks almost so much is pretty much exactly like the Incredible S. Nothing really has changed from what we from what we uh, saw uh, a month ago. Left hand side, you have just the volume rocker, micro USB cable. Right side's clean. The bottom is also clean, except for the notch right there to open up the battery compartment. On top, you have 3.5mm headset jack, the notch right here is just for the microphone, and you have also the uh, dedicated power button. You have the usual set of Android buttons below the display, a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, so you can take videos, uh, video, you can do video chat and also self portraits. And on the back, you have an 8 megapixel autofocus camera, dual LED flash, speaker grill right there, and utilizes that same exact pattern design from its predecessor and has that soft touch feel, which does make it feel clean. Very easy to hold as well. So, with the display, it's actually a lot, the handset's a little bit larger just because of the uh, 4 inch capacitor touch screen versus the smaller one from the uh, original uh, Droid Incredible. Um, it's WVGA resolution, so that's 480 by 800 pixels, so, so it should produce some decent looking um, clarity with it. Uh, it's super LCD technology, so you're going to have some nice looking colors with it. It's powered by Android, Android 2.2 Froyo right now, so unfortunately no gingerbread. And it's running a Qualcomm MSM 8655 Snapdragon processor, running at 1 GHz, as we said, 768 megabytes of RAM. The other unique thing about this handset is with the capacitor buttons, and let's see if we could show that real quick. Launch the browser, should automatically rotate the uh, buttons uh, according to the orientation. And there you go, it does it right there. So uh, that's pretty much it for right now with the, uh, the HTC Droid Incredible 2. We'll be checking it out shortly more, and we'll sh we should have our review up uh, in the next few days. So if you want to learn more about the HTC Droid Incredible 2, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.